In this video, we look at the use of the sine rule. So, if you create any triangle, you guys can create these yourselves. And let's say this is 35 degrees, and this is 68 degrees. Now, if these triangles are not drawn to scale, obviously. If we have the side opposite one of these, let's say this is five centimeters. We can now find all the information in the triangle. This cosine rule, which is another question that comes up a lot, is when we have the two sides and the angle in between them. Whereas in this case, you can see we don't have the two sides and the angle in between. So based on the sine rule, it's the side opposite the angle that goes together with the angle. So A over sine A or sine A over A, it doesn't matter which way you write it, is equal to B over sine B. And we'll only ever use two ratios at a time. So if we take A, to be A, the top here is the side, so five over the sine of the angle opposite, sine 35, is equal to B, which we're gonna call X, over the sine of 68. We just simplify this down to get X on its own, so five sine 68, is equal to x sine 35 now you might just put the sine 35 underneath straight away 5 sine 68 over sine 35 is equal to x and now you just type this into your calculator and the calculator gives x to be 8.08 .08. and that will be centimeters so let's try and find the third side we call this side y so we do need the angle. So this angle is 180, take away 68, take away 35. 68 and 35 are 103. So this angle is gonna be 77 degrees. So we set up our diagram again. We have Y over the angle opposite, which is 77. And we can take either of the other sides. We'll use five over sine 35 so rearrange them we're going to get 5 sine 77 is equal to y sine 35 so as good students you're just going to know that you're going to divide by the sine of 35 and that will give you y and typing this into a calculator your answer is going to be 8.49 centimeters and you can see the sides match up if we got an answer of 849 we would definitely know that we've done something wrong so the use of the sine rule is really, really simple. Let's look at another example. So let's have a look at an example that's known as the ambiguous case where there actually is more than one answer to the question. And this is because your excellent knowledge of the unit circle will tell you that if we get an angle in here for sine, sine is also positive in here. So there will, there will be an angle in this sector that will satisfy the inverse sine of a particular number. So let's look at the first case here. We have 15.3 over the sine of 48 is equal to 17.6 over the sine. You can give your angle a letter. Let's call it x, sine of x. We could call it b. So 17.6 sine 48 is equal to 15.3 sine x. So we're going to write over 15.3 is equal to the sine of x. So simplifying the left-hand side into a decimal, we're going to get 0.85485, 0.8549, we'll round it off to, equals sine x. So the inverse sine of 0.8549 will give me the angle. So this works out to be 58.748 58.748 degrees, 58.75 degrees. We'll just round that off in this case to 59 degrees. So what other angle could satisfy this? So if I draw my 59 degree angle in here, so this is 59, what angle is this? This is 180 minus 59. 180 minus 60 is 120, so 121 degrees. So let's see, can we construct a triangle with a 121 degree angle that would satisfy these values? 
So obviously, if this, what other angle do we have? We have a 48 degree angle. Let's add 121. We're going to get 169. Now, obviously, if this was, it's less than 180. So there is a, not every time will this work. If we had an angle, if the two angles add up to more than 180, we can construct a triangle. So what's left? 169 to 180. The third angle is going to be 11 degrees. So let's see how this would work. We could have a very small angle down the bottom. Say that one is 11. And this one at the top could be, what do we get? 121, 11, and 48. So that will work. So that's my C. That's my B. And that's my A. So obviously, the side length will change because the triangle is moving around. But this is the ambiguous case of the sine rule. When do we use it? We use it when we have a side and the angle opposite and another side or another angle. When you can't use the sine rule, you're going to have to use the cosine rule, which is going to be in the next video.